Now, before the onset of winter, it's very important to check out the condition of your roof. You can do this from the ground level, you can use binoculars, or if you can, get access from a neighbouring property. And the things to look out for are the condition of your tiles, any slipped or missing ones, and any damage or moss to the roof itself. If you walk round the base of your house, keep an eye out on the floor looking for anything that could have come from the roof. This, for example, is a little piece of cement that should normally sit between a couple of roof tiles. Now, it may be nothing, but it could mean there's a problem with your roof. When you're up on the roof, the kind of thing to look out for are missing or broken tiles. You'll find especially that older clay tiles are very susceptible to cracking in the frost. Here's one, for example, that slipped out of position. Now this tile here has just slipped, so it's easy enough to put back, but if I wanted to remove it completely, say for example it was broken, you should find it's uh, fairly straightforward. When tiles are fitted to a roof, they sit on roofing battens and generally every third row is nailed in. So here, let's see if I can get this one out and show you. You can see there that in fact this is okay. The tiles will have little lugs at the top, if we were to replace this one, we just need to lift the tiles above, slot it into position, and then lower the tiles, making sure that they all fit down snugly in the area. That should be good for a number of years. Now moss and leaves can actually block your guttering. This can have all sorts of problems, chiefly that water won't be taken away from the roof and it could overflow, which could cause problems down at ground level. Luckily, it's fairly easy to fix. We can remove the moss and leaves and allow the gutters to flow properly. If you are going to take a look at your roof, a top tip for you is to make sure that you don't lean your ladder on the guttering. Apart from the safety issues, another reason of course is that you might actually break your guttering. Check the ridges and the hips of your roof for missing mortar. Now there's actually one here where a bit of the cement has come out, but luckily a little bit of pointing will soon fix that problem. You can also inspect your roof from the inside by going up into the loft. If you switch off the lights, you can look for signs of daylight getting through, which indicates gaps in the tiles or a tear or missing roofing felt. Certain roof coverings such as lead and thatch need specialist repair and shouldn't be attempted yourself. Quick fixes or DIY repairs won't last and may cause damage in the long run. If your home has a chimney, make sure that you inspect the pot and the benching regularly. Also, if you've got a solid fuel fire, such as a log burner, do look out for escaping smoke between the joints in the bricks. Well, hopefully all these tips will help you spot any problems with your roof, which will protect your property in time for the onset of winter.